come see my garden my youtube channel for gardeners all around the world just sharing tips and ideas and uh, letting us see what gardening looks like in your part of the world and this time of the year is the time for me to start planting roses if i have any new ones and I actually choose to buy mine through a reputable rose growing company in Australia. And the reason being that I buy so many of them, they always have the stocks of what I want. So what happens is the roses will arrive bare rooted. So they're wrapped either in newspaper, they come with soil, they're nice and moist. So by the time I get them, I just pop them in a bucket of water like they are here because the last thing you need to do is let the roots dry out because once they dry, they're gone. So the hole has been dug here, ready for the rose to go in. There's some water being put in the bottom and now we will plant. So now my rose has been planted. This is a sunny sky. It's a hybrid tea. It's going to grow to about 1.2 meters and it says it has amazing perfume. So let's hope so. I do love a nice perfume on a rose. As you can see, it's watering tube went in there and you saw me making a point um, of pointing to the little node on the rose. Just make sure that's actually the grafting cut. You need to make sure that stays out of the ground. So when you're planting, make sure that stays out of the ground. This one's got a lot of growth as you can see uh, because I changed the delivery date uh, with the supplier, they put them back into dirt until I'm ready. They can't leave them in the packaging too long because they will dry out. And as I said, when the roots dry out, the rose will die. So there was quite a bit of growth on that one, which is fabulous for me. It won't take long before it gets some nice little shoots. So I'm going to enjoy this rose. I don't have this one in my garden. And happy rose growing to you guys too.